<coughs> okay, so these are the full control braces. Um, if you notice, they could also be called a KAFO because they're going to control the knee, ankle, foot, and the orthosis brace. Um, so KAFO or full control braces. Um, when they were new, they had this nice little spring in the ankle. It's kind of limited spring <laughs> at this point, but you still get the idea that it would keep them up into a neutral position. Okay. We've already loosened all the lug nuts um, on all four areas that we're going to need to tighten things down. Um, <clears throat> the straps are all in place. I'm, I'm going to look. She's kind of an average size person, so um, I'll start the the back of the straps where I think they're going to be, you know, kind of in a neutral position. Okay, remember these, the back of the straps can be adjusted as well as the front. Okay, I might need to tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, when you do the straps up, you can see that this is the back here because the toes are on this side, the heel is on that side. So I'm adjusting the back right now. There's Velcro, there's the loop part of the Velcro and the hook part, so make sure that you don't do it that way. You want to do it so that the two parts of Velcro come together. Okay, so I'm guessing that's going to be about the right size to start with. I can always adjust it later. And back here I've already adjusted that um, to where I think it might work later. Best way to work with Velcro, instead of leaving it hanging down like this, if you attach it to itself, it's kind of out of your way. Okay, so kind of open up all the straps. some straps down here on the foot part. Okay, so um, this is a patient with paraplegia, okay, and we're getting ready to put her into this so that we can get her up into a standing position. Okay, so we're going to say this is her first day with her braces. We're going to fit the braces when they finally came. Okay. All right, I think we have everything open and ready to go. So, hi patient, how are you today? Uh, my name is B.J. Simmons and I'm from Physical Therapy. Uh, I'm going to be trying these new braces on you. They finally came. We had them ordered a couple weeks ago and they're, they're here and ready to go. Um, I need to get them fit to you first, okay? This might actually be a temporary one also um, until the real ones come. So either way. Uh, let me see here. For the camera, I think I'm going to use this leg. I think everybody can see this one okay. If not, feel free to move around some. All right, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this underneath your leg. So you just relax. Remember, she's paralyzed from the waist down, so she can't help lift that leg up. So try to keep it as dead weight as possible. Okay. All right, let me put this over to the side. Maybe it works not to fall. Okay, and notice when I'm sitting on the stool that I put a corner in the front here, and that way you <coughs> have room to move. If you sit on these stools square, then they run into your heels and you try to move anywhere. So the proper way to sit on one of these stools is like that. Just for your knowledge. Okay, um, so just relax. I'm going to bring your foot up. Of course, we would have nice sturdy shoes on. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Um, now, with this, I can control her leg position pretty well by just putting her foot on my knee. And then what I'm going to want to do is unlock the <laughs> knee all the straps out of the way. I'm going to put this underneath her thigh up as high as I can. It's always easier to pull it back toward me than it is to push it back under her more. Okay, so right now I'm going to push this up fairly high up under your thigh. Okay, and then I will place your foot into it. Just like that. Okay, everything comfortable so far? Not, not to push me back. Of course we're locked. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to situate is her foot. Um, again, I really would have her in a, a much better shoe than this. I'm going to take this off because it's just kind of pushing against it anyhow. Okay, so her heel is against that little cuff in the back. Okay. Um, the black strap is going to come up at a 45 degree angle across the front of the ankle. So go inside or outside the uprights? Inside the uprights, okay, because you want it to be nice and firm. I'm not going to go too firm because it's right against your skin. Does that feel okay there? Okay, so we have that one done. These others crisscross. Okay, um, so this one comes across, and then if you'll see, these are um, sewn right on there so that they go into a crisscross pattern. So we'll put one going down that way, one, and 
press that way. And again, they need to be pretty firm on there. You don't want the patient coming up away from the actual brace itself, okay? Um, patient doesn't have sensation, so I can't ask her, you know, does that feel too tight? So I'll just kind of stick my finger in there, and I should just barely be able to get my finger in there, okay? But I should be able to get my finger in there if I can. Okay, same thing here. I can put my finger in, but just barely, okay? All right, so I've got that set up. Um, next thing I'm going to do is adjust the height of the ankle, uh, knee angle, okay? So with this, right now her knee, the center of her knee motion is way down here, so it's going to need to be shorter. Okay, that looks pretty good there. I can kind of adjust a little bit and see and move her leg a little bit. Okay, once I get that where I want it, I'm going to tighten that down as I'm looking at it already tidy. This one is separate, so I have to come over here too, shorten it a bit. Oh, that's at the end. What I would have to do here, this is set up for somebody taller right now. I would actually have to take this lug nut out and move it up to another spot. Um, I'm not going to take time to do that right now just because we're in the middle of class. Um, but that's how you would fix that. You would take that right out, you know, unscrew it, take it out, move it up to another hole in there. Okay. So we're going to have to pretend for right now that that's lined up with her knee rather than taking time to do that. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that up, tighten that up. Okay, next thing I'm going to look at is I want these uprights to be, remember, centered front to back along the shin. Okay, so um, right now, if I were to, to put that on here, can you see how everything is kind of toward the front a little too much? So all I need to do is go back to that back one. And make it a little tighter in the back. Okay, so I'll make it overlap more in the back. Okay, does that look better? Back in here. I think that's going to be pretty close. It's hard to tell until we get that straightened out more. It looks better on both sides. All right, so I'm going to put that across. Again, it needs to be really firm. Still put my finger in there though, so we're okay there. Okay, so once I get that set up, okay, that looks pretty good there. That looks fairly good there. Again, this I would actually want a little bit lower, and we would fix that. Okay, I'm going to lock it down now and put it down straight. Lock the knees right out. Um, at this point, I want to see how high up into the groin it's going to go. I don't want to go very far up into the groin, but I do want it as far up on the thigh as I can put it comfortably for the patient. Remembering that when the patient stands up, they're going to sink down into this a little bit more. Okay, So that is looking pretty good to me right there. I might lower it just a little bit. Okay, So the same thing here, just make sure those are loose. And then that whole um, upright should lower just a little bit, and then I'm going to tighten it down. side looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and tighten it as is. Any questions so far? All right, front to back, it looks pretty good to me. From your pit place, does it look pretty good on the thigh? Okay, so as far as it's not too far up here, it's not too far in the back, it seems to be pretty mid area there. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take this, tighten it, okay, and same thing with these. Okay. These um, pads on here slide, so you can put them where they're the most, um, going to go over the boniest areas. Again, comfort isn't so much an issue with this patient, they don't have sensation, but you still can damage things, so you have to make sure that you know, you're not so tight on there that um, you're going to hurt something. Okay, I can still get my finger in there, so that should be good there. Brand new straps on the long leg braces here. Okay, and you notice I'm trying to make sure where there's tight areas, I want to try to get rid of any wrinkles. Okay, 
And again, I can still get a finger in there, so I should be pretty good. Okay, um, everything is tightened up. Just double check things here. These are locked. Those are tight. That's good. All right. Um, I would take her to the parallel bars uh, again for the sake of the check or for the sake of the class. Um, I'm just going to have you kind of stand up right here and we'll see how it looks. See how that kind of goes really close up into the groin, so you want to be careful not to have that any higher. Why don't you come out here and carefully have to move the hands if you want to just kind of turn around carefully so people can see from all different angles. Okay, so it looks pretty good front to back um, as far as the thigh positions and the lower leg. It's pretty good front to back as far as the uprights. Things are on there nice and tight, so that will look pretty good to me. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. Thank you, Pacer. Thank you, camera.